What's going on, YouTube? For us here, hope you guys are doing well. We have new news regarding Call of Duty 2023. But do any of you actually care? I know I don't. I know I'm done with Call of Duty and Activision in its current state. Because what faith has Call of Duty, Activision, or its studios instilled in you over the last three or four years? Absolutely zero. Especially the fact that Call of Duty 2023 is rumored to being developed by Sledgehammer Games, who've brought us such great hits as Call of Duty Vanguard, Call of Duty World War II, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Are those titles that are remembered fondly? No! Advanced Warfare brought in pay to win. World War II was kind of boring. It had its bright spots, but all in all, the only reason why it was received well at all was because it was the first time Call of Duty returned to boots on the ground for like three years. So it was received kind of well. And then you had Vanguard, which is the worst copy and paste I have ever seen. It is worse than Infinite Warfare, and it's not even close. Whoever decided to greenlight that game, you should not have a job anymore. And here we are now in Call of Duty 2023. Originally, what we were expecting was we were expecting Modern Warfare 2 to be a two-year life cycle game. What a really good bait-and-switch tactic that Infinity Ward and Activision did. Let's tell the leakers it's a two-year life cycle game so we can get everybody on board with Modern Warfare 2. Because nobody likes this engine. Nobody believes that we can deliver a good game. But if we tell them it's going to be a game that's delivered over a two-year life cycle, the lack of content at launch isn't going to bother them because they know we have time to fix it. So people are going to invest in this game because, again, the game's going to be stretched over two years of content. Then, after the game releases, they completely 180 flip and decide, nope, we're going to release a quote-unquote expansion in the fall of 2023, and now it is a full game release, a premium release. And I'm sure we're going to hear more news about it in the following weeks. But is anybody going to care? Outside of the people that spend their monthly allowance on the Battle Pass or on skins for Call of Duty. Who's going to sit there and be like, yes, more Call of Duty with this current regime at Activision that is completely ignoring anything the community says. Completely ignoring the health of the game. And is just focused on the very small minority of players that are actually enjoying this completely corrupt system. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm saying it's corrupt, what they've done is they've forced you to pay more money than ever with all the microtransactions to access content. And in turn, they've delivered less content year in and year out. They've delivered less of a complete game. They've delivered less on community feedback. They've delivered less in so many areas. If you look at the bare bones of what Modern Warfare 2 is here in 2023, we had a more complete game with Black Ops 2 10 years ago. What an absolute travesty to see the downward trajectory that Call of Duty has gone on. And this is directly caused by corporate greed by Activision. So when you want to talk about Call of Duty 2023, please spare me the details. I don't care because it's going to be the same rinse and repeat process that they've done for years. It's going to be a game that's going to have all the hype at the start and it's going to be followed with absolutely zero action. They're going to tell us a few things that we want to hear like, oh, it's innovative. Oh, it's going to be different this time. But at the end of the day, it's going to be the exact same shit just a different game. I am tired of the current system that Call of Duty finds itself in. I'm tired of the lack of feedback. I'm tired of the constant nonsense that we get delivered from the developers on a day-to-day -day basis. There is zero transparency, there is zero honesty, and there is zero faith that the customer has in the product. I look at Call of Duty on where it could have been here in 2023 and we could be talking about one of the best games in the history of Call of Duty but instead we consistently talk about all the problems this franchise has because there's no bright spots to talk about I wish I could come on here and say man this stuff they're doing in Modern Warfare 2 is so great oh it reminds me so much of the old days 
but they're not doing that. They're failing to deliver on the basics of a video game. And it bothers me that so many people are still championing this company as it's some gold standard in the video game world. I'm sorry, this isn't good enough. Our bar, our expectations need to be higher. And this is Activision's own doing. This is Call of Duty's own doing because guess what? They used to push the boundaries. They used to push the bar. They used to have higher expectations. They used to release games with identity and soul. And now these games are released with complete and utter lifelessness. There is nothing valuable that I look back on Modern Warfare 2 and I say, man, I really hope they continue this trend moving forward. No, none of it. The perk system, garbage. Dead Silence not being a perk, garbage. Tactical Sprint, garbage. Red Dots not showing up on the minimap, garbage. The movement system, garbage. The maps, garbage. The UI, garbage. I could go on and on and on. The attachments, everything about this game is utter trash. Yet they're gonna have Call of Duty fanboys that hop on and see no wrong in it. And that's who they cater the game to. And it's disappointing. Because what I see with Activision, is I see them not realizing the full potential of their games. Not realizing what they could have had. They see it as, well we made X amount of money, but not realizing that Y was a bigger amount. That reinvesting some of that dollars from the X category... So you could get more money from Y would have made for a more prosperous game. But instead, they're completely happy putting in the bare minimum effort to get the bare minimum return. And it's depressing, is unfortunate, but honestly, it's time for all of us to move on. It's time for Call of Duty to get a grip and maybe figure it out. But it's time for somebody to take the mantle away from them. And I'm honestly hoping it's going to be x Defiant. I'm hoping that they continue to do all the right things with this game. Because as it stands right now, I think it's going to be a tremendous fall for x Defiant And a horrible fall for Call of Duty. But I'm here for it. I'm all here for it. So if you came here expecting some Call of Duty 2023 news, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But let's be honest here. Why do any of us even care? because we sure as hell know that Activision does not. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.